what is going on everybody welcome back to another awesome rc video and in this one we're going to be doing another video on one of these cheap little walmart drones that i've been starting to review for quite a while now i've been starting to you know trying to find a couple that are probably the most interesting the most you know out there looking and i came across this one this is the sharper image aero drone it's supposed to be like a stunt drone is what i saw it it's supposed to be able to do all these maneuvers and stunts uh, it's got leds all over it it's got a pretty interesting looking radio um it even had like a little try me thing for all the leds it looks pretty interesting um it even comes with like a landing pad i figured i'd try it out for you guys um it's about 63.99 where i found it i found this thing at walmart it's where i do most of the cheap drone stuff i've got quite a lot of them coming uh, on this channel guys so if you guys love uh, messing around with these cheap little walmart stuff and you're going to be seeing it from the perspective of someone more into like hobby grade rcs so i don't know I figured it'd be pretty fun these things don't really get a good enough rep and they're starting to go down pretty um uh, pretty fast too they're starting to die so i figured i'd get these out there this is the aero drone um, it's got this super interesting design. It is, I don't know, it kind of looks like something from Avatar. It's got one propeller facing downwards uh, in front, and then I guess three more conventional propellers uh, right here. There's two on the side, and then one right here in the back. Um, never really seen anything like it before. I have seen, there's a different version of this, and it's a SEMA version, and it's available at Meyer. I'll put, put a picture of it up on the screen right now. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, and it's actually a little cheaper than this one, but it doesn't come with all the cool features, um, I don't think. But it does look pretty sick. It's kind of like a helicopter and a drone, I guess, <laughs> uh, all in one. It's got these big flexible landing skids on the bottom that just flex, which is really good because, you know, when you're having hard landings, these just absorb a lot of the hits. Pretty small little brush motors in there. Uh, it does come with spare blades. These are some pretty, pretty generic looking blades here. They're pretty big. Um, here's the size of it compared to like, like a torrent 110. Um, you know, the ducts are about the same size. The blades are on the same size. Um, not too terrible. This thing is pretty lightweight though. Definitely not an outdoor flyer. Uh, usually just stick it to indoor use and not comes with the big landing pad, but this thing is super light and it gets thrown around pretty easily in the wind. I will show you guys that video, all the flight footage, of course, we're going to go out there and try to fly it today. Um, turn it on, you can see it's got the light pods right here. There's two on each motor pod, and then there are two red LEDs right here in the canopy, and then two more in the rear right there. It does have a USB-C charger. The battery is built in, and it comes with just the regular USB-C cable. It's pretty cool that they updated it. Most of them come with like some pretty chintzy little connector that might break. This is pretty nice. Um, it takes about, it even says on the box, it literally says on the box how long it takes. Hold on. Yeah. Two hours to charge. Um, the radio that it comes with, pretty interesting. Definitely very uncomfortable. Um, it's this big pad of a radio here. There is a single screw that, um, that comes out. And in goes uh, four AA batteries, um, and it kind of just slides together. It's really chintzy, not really the best thing in the world, and the controls are really notchy. You know, it is digital proportional, but it, it's not super digital. It's not very fine at all. The power is this big knob that you turn, and it, like, clunks into place. Um, it has this cool little light-up lanyard hoop, though. That's pretty, pretty interesting, but a lot of these buttons are super weird. A lot of them don't press down right away. You might have to press it more than once in order to get it to do what you need it to do. There's a lot of these really weird things like turn. You press this and it just turns around. The maneuver, you press this and you can like select any direction and it'll do like a cool little dance maneuver in each direction depending on where you select it. We'll do it all on the flight footage. It's pretty pointless uh, trying to explain it to you guys when you can just see it in person. Uh, it can do flips, but it can only do side flips. It can only roll. Um, it says, I guess the design of the propellers doesn't really allow it to, to really flip in either direction, which is fine, I guess. Um, and then this is the auto takeoff, auto landing button. And that is the only way to get this thing to take off. You have to press the flight button. It does have a second speed, but it's very, very slow. The first speed is painfully slow, slower than most coaxial helicopters. And then the second speed is fast, 
just fast enough to be flown in a small gust, but mostly the best place to fly this is indoors. Um, it does have trims as well as an auto orientation. I haven't tried that yet, so we will try it in the flight review. I have really no idea what that does. Um, the trims work okay. It can actually hover fairly well. Um, and that is the radio. It looks pretty interesting. It's definitely very big. It's a lot bigger than it needs to be. But, hey, it does its job, and it looks pretty cool, I guess. It matches the drone, and it matches the pad. It's all got a theme. It's all got a style, fit. So, hey why not um the landing pad is pretty darn interesting i actually use, oh, almost the drone almost fell i actually use this for a lot of different drones i use this for my racing drone as well but it folds up like this you kind of like twist it into like a figure eight and then it just folds over and then there it is the only downside with it is it can't pop open at times so it's good to like put it in a bag or like keep it closed to find a way i guess i don't know if you like poke a hole in it and like wrap a zip tie through there or something i don't know but definitely pretty cool matches the drone as well but yeah that's just about all i have to show you guys for the visual review of this thing it's not super interesting you know well it actually is super interesting but like you know design wise and what's going on in here it isn't super interesting it's just a toy grade drone kind of reshaped into a cooler looking package and i really like that because a lot of these are starting to go away a lot of toy grade rcs are now just like movie themed or like superhero themed this is actually just a super cool like futuristic looking drone and i think me personally this is really sick it brings me back to like the old air hogs days when they used to be you know putting out all kinds of like super interesting looking toy grade stuff so yeah guys uh next uh next clip is going to be me at my cousin's house flying this thing and yeah See you guys then. All right, guys, you got the aerodrome calibrated and ready to fly. So we're gonna start off in rate number one. So flight button to take off. And here we go. So pretty stable. And that is full speed in rate number one. Throttle punch. So, outfit hold, pretty good. Throttle punch, very good. For a beginner, this is actually not too bad. It flies around, you know, a little faster than like a coaxial. And it makes a lot of racket. It's pretty loud. Okay. Let's messed around with it a little bit so let's try a maneuver so let's hit the maneuver button right here see what it does maneuver forward okay Woo. let's go ahead and zoom out okay all right let's try that again so hit the maneuver key and it does a maneuver in any direction you choose so maneuver forward up forward bounces up forward so that's this little maneuver let's try Let's try going to the left. So maneuver, left. And that's just doing it by itself. It's just doing its maneuver. And it spins around in a circle. So that's pretty cool. I mean, this thing is made for kids and they're probably gonna enjoy that. All right, maneuver to the right. Same thing, just to the right. Not bad. Okay, and the last direction to maneuver is backwards. So let's go ahead and hit the maneuver, go backwards. And it's just kind of come in, swerving around. Pretty cool. Not bad, not bad. All right, all right. This rate one's getting boring. Let's hit the speed key. Rate number two. So a lot faster. Not really, but it's a little faster. Altitude old, very good, actually. Super good. And give it some throttle, it actually, it actually goes pretty good. Okay, um, turn key right here. Turn. See that? Let's see what that does. I don't think I've ever actually tried that before. Turn and go forward. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Well, that's crazy. All right. Um, that was pretty cool. Let's try it lower. Turn. Nothing? All right, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Turn. It just spins, so that's cool. 
And then it's also got an auto orientation button down here. Let's give that a shot. Um, I didn't do anything. Nothing still? I don't know. That doesn't really seem to do anything. I thought, like I said, you're flying. Oh, if you're going crazy and you don't know what you're doing, hit that and it levels itself out, I guess. Well, you really don't need that. Oh, wait. Okay. That's just headless mode, guys. I'm completely surprised that they still have those in drones, but yeah. That was headless mode that I engaged. I didn't really notice, but... I was headless mode. Okay. Last, last thing to do is a flip. So that would be this button right here. Also, the hovering on this isn't too great. It doesn't really like to stay very stable. Hold on, let's see if we can trim it out. So... Okay, a little more stable now. So it does side flips. It can't do a forward or a back flip, it'll only do barrel rolls because of the way the motors are adjusted. Which isn't bad, I mean, it still works. Let's like go full. All right, let's press the, uh, the flight button again to land it. it. Kind of bounces a little bit, but it does get the job done. And there it is, guys, a flight of the Sharper Image Aero Drone. All right, so as you can see, this thing is definitely a pretty cool little drone. Uh, not really made for experienced pilots. This thing is pretty slow, very sluggish. Um, and a lot of the special stunts and features that it has are just little turns and maneuvers that, you know, kids will enjoy, but not super crazy, not insanely fast, not, you know, anything crazy. But obviously the main, the main point is its futuristic appearance. Um, motors seem like they're struggling. <laughs> it definitely seems like they're spinning up pretty fast and definitely doing a lot of work in this configuration, but it does get the job done. They're not like super hot or anything. Uh, this battery, this internal battery does seem to last quite a while. So it's definitely pretty big. Um, but other than that, it's, it was not, it's not fat. It's not bad. It's fun. You know, it's, it's durable. It's all plastic. So, you know, you can throw it around and it won't break. Um, it's got those super flexible landing skids. So, you know, it'll take pretty much any abuse that kids throw at this thing. It's pretty cool. It's a little bit on the expensive side, but that is because of the futuristic appearance. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know if you guys want to see some more sharper image drones. There's a lot more available. And I'm definitely going to try to get them all. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoy, um, enjoy this content and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.